this evening. What do you make of him? He looks good. He looks. He looks relaxed. He looks um, calm. He looks. It, how I would expect him to be looking right now. You know, he's, he's zoning in. He's waiting for for that first bell to come in all action. I'm sure. And so it's the turn of the champion, David Avanesian of Russia to make his way to the ring. Born in a place called Tabinska, around 1,500 kilometers east of the capital, Moscow, and has been bullish in his confidence all week in the fight bubble across the road. At the age of 32, he's challenged the likes of Lamont Peterson for the regular version of the WBA world title, and his only inside the distance defeat, and he's lost three times, but only one of them inside the distance, was against the Lithuanian Egidius Kavialauskis, who in turn has only been beaten by one of the pound for pound greats in the world at the moment, Terence Crawford. So the form lines all point to David Avanesian, but will the promise and potential of Josh Kelly prevail as Avanesian, workmanlike, marches to the ring, clambers between the center two of the four ropes, and then makes his way over to the ropes closest to us here, and the red corner, which likewise is closest to us. And he's dancing around side to side, just checking on all four ropes, and just to check over now from the referee, Victor Lachlan. This a huge, huge night also for David Avanesian. If he wants to make that climb again towards World Championship honors, PBK on the back of the predominantly white gown of Josh Kelly. Pretty boy Kelly, they call him. 11 professional fights so far, 10 victories, and that one draw that we were talking about at Madison Square Garden in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the SSE Arena Wembley here in London, England. We are live on Sky Sports and the Zone for the featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the European Welterweight Championship. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. Sponsored by Betfred, Wow Hydrate, and JD Sports. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the British Boxing Board of Control, the board representative, Mr. Dennis Gilmartin, and the European Boxing Union, the president, Mr. Bob Logis, the supervisor, Mr. Robert W. Smith. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest all from the United Kingdom. From Barry, John Latham. From Gillingham, Ian John Lewis. And from Liverpool, Mark Lyson. Your timekeeper from Harrow Weald is John Smith, and at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring from Barhead, Scotland, A-star referee, Mr. Victor Lachlan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring right here in London, England, this is it. The time has come. The Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with his head trainer, Adam Booth. He wears the red trunks with the white trim. This 2016 Olympian scaled at a ready 10 stone, six pounds, bang on. His professional record, 10 victories, no losses, one draw, and six wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated former Commonwealth and WBA international champion, fighting out of Sunderland, opponent across the ring, the defending champion fighting out of the red corner. He stands with his head trainer, Carl Reeves. He wears the black trunks with the white and red trim. He scaled 10 stones, 6 pounds, 6 ounces. His professional record, 26 victories, 3 defeats, 1 draw. He has 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He 
And so the last of the formalities, the instructions from referee Victor Lachlan, and then shortly will be underway. David Avenician, the holder, is he caught between European and world class? And Josh Kelly, moving back to the blue corner, furthest away from us, is he a gym fighter? Is he a man who produces in training but cannot reproduce on the big occasions? No bigger occasion in his professional career than this one here tonight for the European welterweight title against the champion David Avanesian. This, one of the most eagerly awaited fights of recent years in a British ring. And Avanesian virtually sprints out of the corner into centre ring. And Josh Kelly holds his ground, left arm down by his waist, as is his want. He's got this high stakes strategy in his fights, often with the hands around by his waist and the chin almost poked out, inviting his opponent to try and hit him and then to use his reflexes and his reactions to get away. Left hook from Avanesian just grazes the chin of Kelly. It's the first of the scoring punches in this opening round, just after half a minute gone. Right hand from Avanesian is met by a much more solid left hand to the body from Kelly. He snorts as he throws that shot, swinging left hook from Avanesian. Kelly sees it coming, backs off out of range. Just a prodding right hand from Avanesian, just grazes the left hand side of the chin of Kelly, who moves back round to the centre of the ring, holds the jab, not moving off, not backing off onto the ropes as many expected him to do, Kelly, in the early stages. Holding his ground, he looks like the bigger of the two. Many say he struggles to make the 10 stone seven welterweight limit whereas Avanesian and his camp have been talking in recent months about moving down to light welterweight Avanesian is the aggressor in most of his fights at this stage it's a very measured start from both men Kelly just bends his knees almost boxes from a crouch for a moment and then flicks out a jab and then as Avanesian comes back with an overhand right so Kelly bends his knees again and just slips underneath good defensive work and this has been a fairly confident start by Kelly who just made Avanesian miss with a jab and just missed himself then with a counter right uppercut so clearly the signs are there that Kelly is attempting to make Avanesian miss and then the old mantra of boxing, make him pay, have him made him miss. Coming towards the final minute of what's been a very entertaining, lively first couple of minutes in this opening round so far. In the centre of the ring and the referee telling them to punch away and then to break. Kelly still with that left hand held down by his waist, almost inviting Avanesian forward. Avanesian comes forward with the right hand, but he's met with a crisp left hook from Kelly. Then Kelly goes forward. Kelly's opening up. Strong shots from Kelly here. This is a good burst from Kelly to the body and the head. It started with a very solid jab, but then a left hook got home as well. And Kelly with a slightly reddened nose, but he's had the best of this first round so far with half a minute to go. Avanesian turns to the southpaw stance is he also already looking for different ways of finding a home for his punches at this stage 20 odd seconds to go in this first round crisp sharp punches left right from Josh Kelly who's made a very bright confident start so far backs off onto the ropes nearest to us here at ringside moves around towards a neutral corner right hand from Avanesian gets through and then a grazing left hook just a sign that Avanesian is a long way from beaten just yet Kelly opens up left hand and then a short sharp right and then he backs off good short sharp check hook from Josh Kelly is the last punch of the opening round to land George Groves at the end of the first round former world super middleweight champion your thoughts a uh, strong round for Kelly he started much sharper than Avanesian he's uh, all the shots were, were coming out nice and fast he just looks that much bigger and he's in control of the fight to start with um, might have even landed a, a couple of power shots that, that had Avenician sort of thinking twice about the power he switched south for in that round which I never like why you switch switching in the first round trying to give him a different look let's settle into a fight with what what's going to you know work for you in that fight so a uh, strong round for Kelly 10-9 yeah George is absolutely right 10-9 to Kelly no problem he looks that much bigger he looks that much sharper but what's more he looks that much more confident 
He set his feet once or twice there, Mike, which I don't think was part of the plan. Big Kelly round, not so much on points, but mentally. Visit big in his head. Great point by Steve Bunce there. Important start for Josh Kelly in more ways than one. He landed solid shots time and again, but it was his presence, as George was saying. He does look to be the bigger of the two, naturally. And the weigh-in was early afternoon yesterday, so plenty of time to replenish, to restock and to build up. He's probably a stone heavier now. He's probably 11 and a half stone, maybe slightly more. He's flicking out the jab as well. He certainly hasn't lost any of his speed as Avanesian takes a pot shot with the right hand, but Kelly sees it coming drops his shoulder and Avanesian is caught in a clinch in the center of the ring. Avanesian already it seems is kind of diving in. There's a desperation in the early stages for the Russian, the champion to land solid shots. Kelly tries to get off with a straight left and a straight right. A very simple copybook combination which works so well for Agidius Kavialowskis, the best opponent that Avanesian has faced so far. And he peppered Avanesian with that very simple straight left, straight right across the first half a dozen rounds and eventually stopped Avanesian in the sixth round. The only time the Russian has been stopped in his professional career, which dates back to 2009. He has the greater pedigree in terms of his professional career, but right now he can't match Josh Kelly for sharpness, or it seems to be from our vantage point here, some distance from the ringside because of the COVID restrictions, but it looks as though the greater power is coming from Kelly and he hurts Avanesian with a left hook and now he opens up in his own corner. Avanesian Avanesian bravely is trying to swing back, but the best shot of the fight so far, brilliant left hook from Josh Kelly, and Avanesian was hurt, but the courage of the Russian is drawing him forward into the fray once again, with a minute and 15 seconds to go in the second round. So building on a very impressive start is Josh Kelly. He looks to be the bigger man, and he's proving so far that he's the bigger puncher. He slides underneath a left hook from Avanesian, who's bowled into the ropes by Kelly, and there's Blood coming down the back of Kelly's head, strangely, as if there was some kind of clash of heads and it's dripping onto his shoulders. At this stage, I haven't seen him face on to see where that cut's coming from. It looks as though it's just over his left ear and the blood is sliding around down his neck and onto his back. He was just taken, caught by a couple of shots there from Avanesian as Kelly got slightly careless and he takes a right hand over the top now as Avanesian sees the blood and seems to be buoyed by it, although he now walks onto three solid left jabs from Kelly. Sharp shots from that straight left lead from Kelly into the final half a minute of this the second round and Kelly just for a moment is being made to really work for his openings by Avanesian as that blood again strangely makes its way down the back of the neck and onto the shoulders of, of Kelly and it's beginning to smear as he takes the odd shot from Avanesian who has had his successes in this round as well the Russian goes forward behind a high hail guard swings a looping overhand right almost fast bowler cricket style but misses by some way as Kelly saw it coming and an exchange at the end of the round second round your thoughts this time round Steve Bunce lots of blood in and around that ear Mike would be interesting to see what they're doing with that and how they're handling it I thought Avanesian won the last minute and a bit of that round and I thought Kelly won clearly the start of that round including obviously the left look that staggered I think Avanesian may have been square on. It doesn't matter. He's quite marked up, Kelly. I'm watching, I'm watching the picture there, George. And he seemed to, George, he took some good shots. He took some really good shots. Avanesian can't, um, can't really get himself into range without walking in slightly slow with the hands held high. And if when he attacks kind of slow, he's getting caught with um, short, sharp um, power counter punches from Kelly. But he's got this 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 cut has appeared on behind behind his behind his left ear on the back of his head, and then maybe that unsettled him because for a minute there he lost that minute. You know he finished the round okay, but yeah, he know, lost his concentration with that did. blood without a doubt. Well done. So we move into the third round after a very entertaining first couple of rounds. And that second round was fascinating because Avanesian, after a rough ride over the course of the first minute and a half, came back into the contest. I think he was buoyed by the sight of blood around Josh Kelly's face. And Kelly has suffered from cuts in the past. The man known as Pretty Boy has had cuts above both eyes and particularly one on the cheekbone as well in a fight against a pole called Persem Runovsky, who he beat comfortably on points but did suffer that blemish beneath the right eye and against Ray Robinson in the fight in which he drew at Madison Square Garden in 2019 he was cut above both the left and the right eyes now he tries a right hook at the end of a combination and it just grazed the shoulder of Avanesian looked like there might have been a clash of 
heads on the inside there. There's a smear of grease on that cut that is quite high above the left ear of Kelly, who backs off onto the ropes on the right-hand side of the ring as we look on. He takes a pot shot with the right hand. It lands high on the head of Avenition. Avenition lands a solid right hook from the southpaw stance. He's had success from that southpaw stance, having switched occasionally across the first two and a half rounds. We're into round three of a scheduled 12. The European welterweight title clash here on Five Live Sports Extra, and Avenition gets through once again with that right hand, and once again the various streams of blood making their way down the back and onto the chest also now of Josh Kelly, although because of where the cut is at this stage, there's no real danger to him. It's not getting anywhere in his face, it's not blocking his vision, so at this stage, he doesn't seem to be too perturbed now that he knows where that cut is, having been told by his corner. Right hand and a left hook from Kelly in the centre of the ring, but Avenician may be becoming numbed to these punches now, is coming forward immediately after he takes those shots. Isn't having too much success here as Kelly is dominating at long range. When they get up close, that's when Avenition at times has success and also when Kelly at times gets careless and drops those hands, not just because he wants to, but because he's kind of lost his rhythm. But now he stands his ground in the centre of the ring, backs off, trying to read what Avenition is going to do and then he slides away from an overhand right, flicks out a jab of his own. Avenition gets through with a similar shot of his own. Just over 40 seconds to go in round three and the fight that was so eagerly awaited here is really living up to its billing here. The promise and the potential of Josh Kelly against the pedigree and the vigour and the real bravery of David Avenician, the man who's 32 years of age. They exchanged left hooks and it looked as though Kelly came off the best of those. The stronger of the shots landed by Kelly who now backs off with his back close to the ropes. Overhand right, he tries a pot shot of a right hand. It was just muffled by the gloves of Avenician. Avenician lands a right hand but then Kelly replies with the same shot of his own. And now Kelly tries to open up on the inside but they work away on the instructions of the referee. Avenition pounds a couple of left hands to the body. One of them landed on the elbow of Josh Kelly. The other one did get through. Untidy on the inside. They stare at each other at the end of that third round. George Groves. I, get, I gave that round against Kelly just because I thought he, the cleaner, better, crisper work came from him. But a better round from Avenician. He... he He's up, he's up the tempo, he's up, he's up the volume of punches and he's having more success, he's landing more. This is becoming more of his sort of fight that will suit him uh, in the later stages. Everything's explosive that comes from Kelly, yes. but that is taxing. That will, you know, that will eat into his energy reserves and then, you know, if it carries on this way and Avenician starts having more and more success, it might be a different sort of fight in the second half. And he's working on a longer fight, isn't he, Avenician? He's working on, he's working on getting his legs close, throwing body shots, match. Ma Matching Kelly every time Kelly throws punch. I'm surprised Kelly's trying to match him. Kelly doesn't need to match him. If Evanesian catches him, Kelly doesn't have to respond straight away. He can go for a wander. He can go for a walk. He can go for a brief. Kelly a little bit naive in that round. I gave that round, don't worry, to Kelly, like George. But that round was a sliver close. A sliver close. So we move into the fourth round. On our cards, a couple of them close, but Josh Kelly has won the first three rounds as Avenesian tries to open up with a couple of overhand rights at the beginning of this, the fourth round trying to draw Josh Kelly, as Steve and George were saying, into his kind of fight. Big questions now for Kelly. Can he force Avenician to fight his kind of fight? Can he keep him at range? He's mixing it on the inside here, and that tends to suit Avenician. Pot shot with the right hand from the centre of the ring from Kelly, still holding that left hand looped around by his waist. Tries another right hand, it grazed the top of the head of Avenician and then short shots, sharp shots from Kelly. He bends down, anticipating a right hand that never came from Avenician and forces Avenician off. When they do have pushing, barging matches after they come at close quarters, it seems that... Kelly is clearly the stronger of the two. Now he pots with a right hand. Right hand, left hook and a right hand. Brilliant three-punch combination. He's up on his toes, flicks out a jab, then a right hand, another right hand. This is better work from long range from Kelly. A sneaky right hand from Avenician does get through. Then he tries another one. This time it hits the shoulder of Kelly. Kelly nods at Avenician as if to say, is that all you've got? Now he sways left and right in the corner, the red corner, Avenician's corner, closest to us here. Good defensive work from Kelly. And then he opens up 
with short, sharp punches, right arm punches, but they landed solidly. This is a very good start to the first half of round four from Josh Kelly, just as it looked, as George Groves was saying, that Avanesian was fighting, literally fighting his way into the contest. He tries now to turn to the southpaw stance. Right hand to the body, follow the left hand to the body from Avanesian. Kelly almost smiles, more of a smirk maybe, of contempt at his man as he sways away. The arms now are swaying down by the waist, both of them. He flicks out a jab. You hear the snort from Kelly as he throws that jab and then you hear the connection, this time only on the gloves of Avanesian, who every now and again just looks a bit mystified as to how he's going to find an opening here and how he's going to block the pressure shots from Avanesia. Kelly just for a moment there looked over to his own corner, tried a short, sharp right hand as Avanesia and can at him on the ropes. 40 seconds to go in round four. It's been a solid round from Kelly. He's kept it principally at long range. When he's been at mid range, he's been much the sharper, much the faster, much the more accurate. And then again, there's almost a sigh from Avanesia as he comes away from a clinch, whipping right up a cut from Kelly, just misses the target. Then he lands with a left right combination, then flicks out a jab. He's put a lot of work into this round of Josh Kelly. He's going to need to be strong at the weight to keep up at this kind of pace, even though he is having so much success here. It's been a good round. And then he slides under a left hook from Avanesian. Good defensive work, as well as terrific counter punching from Kelly. Lovely short, sharp right hand from Kelly again. Finds its way home, and it looks like there's a cut on the right eye of Josh Kelly. A blemish on his right eye. Let's go back to the corner and listen in now to Adam Booth and see what he's got to say to Josh Kelly. Okay. Nice deep breath. Take the gum shield, Josh. Okay. Nice deep breath, Josh. Josh. No. Nice deep breath. That's a clash of heads, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you listening? Are you listening to yeah. me? He said the cut was a clash of heads. Right. So just keep winning the points. Yeah. You understand? Okay. Keep winning the points because if it gets stopped because of the cut, it goes to the scorecard. Is it, is it, is it goodbye? Huh? So clear instructions from Adam Booth there that that's from a clash of heads. So this is one of those fights where if it is stopped from here on now, it will go to points because we are past that important four round marker, which is in the regulations. Your thoughts, Steve, on that fourth round? On that fourth round, I, I read it slightly different to, to, to the way you were reading it. I, I thought Evanesian was pushing him the whole time. Kelly did his best work, without a doubt. Some of those combinations of the ropes were brilliant and Evanesian still chased him wildly in the last 10 seconds. I think Evanesian still in massive in this fight, Mike. And he tries another overhand right. Again, might be buoyed by the sight of blood, which has been stemmed at the moment, but there is a cut over the right eye of Josh Kelly. Another one of those questions that's been posed for the pretty boy. This pro about whom so much has been said and so much has been predicted, and now he's into deep waters. I thought he had a very good fourth round. Steve Bunce not so impressed, but there is no question that Avanesian is still very much in this contest. He flicks out a couple of right hands, almost leaning in, desperately trying to find a home for those right hands onto the chin of Kelly. Kelly gets up on his toes, takes a jab though, then a right hand from Avanesian and a second right hand from the Russian, the champion in this his 31st professional contest. He's lost three times in the past, once very early on in his career, and then to Lamont Peterson, who once beat Amir Khan, and to Egidius Kabielowskis, who's only lost to Terence Crawford. So he has mixed in the best of the welterweight company, has Avanesian. And can Josh Kelly now ram home his advantage? We've got him in front at this stage, but there's a long way to go. Still plenty of opportunities for Avanesian to turn it his way as we head towards the halfway stage of round number five of a schedule 12 for the welterweight title of Europe. Kelly leans into his man now, buries a left hook into the body of Avanesian on the ropes on the right-hand side as we look on. They're pretty close to Avanesian's corner. They're working away on the inside. Lamont Peterson, in one of those wins against Avanesian, had a lot of success on the inside against Avanesian. But Avanesian whips in a couple of right uppercuts, and Kelly's got his back to us, and we saw his head rocked back twice in a row there by the better work on the inside from Avanesian. Flick of a jab from the Russian. Good work then, and the... Reddened face now, a mixture of effort and blood on the face of Josh Kelly as he backs off. He tries a right hand to the body, collided only with the left elbow of Avanesian, who again goes after his man. Applause in the corner for the latest of the pot shots from Josh Kelly. Throwing a lot of single shots in this round, lands with another solid jab. Jab this time over the top of the head of Avanesian, who covers up on the inside before they're separated by referee 
Victor Lachlan, good combination on the inside from Avenician. Three shots, two of them landed, the third one didn't. Then he walks on to a jab come hook from Kelly. Kelly works away on the inside, but then takes a right hand, but immediately responds himself with a left-right combination. Then flicks out two, three jabs. Just a sign that Kelly is beginning to breathe more deeply here. There's a couple of swinging right hands from Avenician get through from the southpaw stance. We thought earlier on it was desperation. It might well be an important part of his strategy here because he is landing more so, it seems, from the southpaw stance than he is from the orthodox left-hand lead stance. Towards the end of round five, they exchange right hands at the end of this round and then there's another right hand from Kelly right at the end of that fifth round and this is turning into a fascinating contest, the one that everyone was looking forward to in the sport, George. Five rounds. What did you think of that fifth round before I get your scorecards from both of you? Well, I, uh, I thought Avenician had a good round that round. I think he's... I think the pace is starting to catch up with Kelly a little bit. You know, his, his mouth seems to be opening up a little bit more. You can hear him breathing throughout the round. His jab is not giving him that sort of that breather, that space that he wants. And he's just being marched down and down by Avenician, who seems to be finishing the exchanges. So even though at times the cleaner, crisper work is coming from Kelly, because each combination is finished, each exchange is finished by Avenician, it seems like he's coming out on top. And I think his pressure is starting to pay dividend for him. I think his pressure is paying dividends. Now listen, I think he's won the last two rounds don't get me wrong but Mike he's having to fight his heart out that was only round four and five he's having to fight his heart out just to stay in front here it's it, it, it's right there into round number six we go then the biggest test of Josh Kelly's professional career and we got him leading the contest so far we'll get the exact scorecards at halfway at the completion of this round a smear of grease above the right eye of josh kelly he was cut in the fourth round and the corner so far have done good work he's also been cut high above the left ear that isn't so much of a problem and it has been deemed by the referee as a cut caused by a clash of heads so if the contest has to be stopped because of that injury. They will go to the judges' scorecards as they stand at that particular moment. So important for Kelly here to maintain the advantage that we gave him over the course of the early rounds. He's flicking out straight arm shots here, jabs and right hands. And again, they're landing sometimes only on the gloves of Avenician, but they're keeping the Russian occupied. Now, a jab from... Kelly lands, but then a right hand over the top gets through from Avenician and his corner a buoyed by that. Left hook from Avenician. Best punch of this round so far as we move into the second minute of round six. Avenician is relentless, chasing, almost running after Kelly. Clips him with a short, sharp right hook from that south force stance once again, then gets through with a left hand. Kelly is forced to back off. That sharpness just seems to be slightly blunted from Kelly, although he does land a nice combination of a left hook and a right upper up in the corner. Right hand gets through though from Avenician. The sort of shots that weren't landing with the same kind of frequency in the earlier rounds. Left hand from Avenician gets through. Then a right hand over the top as Kelly gets careless on the inside. Left hook to the body, then a right hand over the top from Avenician. He's having a lot of success on the inside. Left hook and a right hand. Left hook and a right hand. And Kelly is hurt here. Kelly is hurt. And the referee takes up the count here because he touched down with the gloves. A minute to go in round six. And Josh Kelly here here is hurt in round six a sustained attack on the inside from Avenician the title holder and Kelly is forced to hold on right uppercut right hand then a left hand from Avenician Avenician senses this could be it here and the towels come in from Adam Booth in the corner and it is all over in the sixth round Josh Kelly is beaten for the first time in his professional career the pedigree has won the day the experience has won the day and David Avenician from Russia via the UK Midlands is still the welterweight champion of Europe. Mike, I had him six rounds down, go, sorry, five rounds down going into that, the sixth round. But there was something about what he was doing. He was taking those punches. He knew it. And as I said at the end of that round, and I'm not being Billy Smart Pants here, Josh Kelly was fighting his heart out. That was an unbelievable performance in round four and five just to nick rounds. Avanesian wasn't breathing, George. He wasn't breathing. No, I think 
You know, it's, it's really you don't want to be harsh of a fighter, but you, you, there was an issue where you're worried about uh, Josh Kelly being able to sustain, you know, his style of fighting for a full 12 rounds because he does fight. He does fight with that that sort of low stance where you have to rely on your reactions, you know, in, entirely. And every shot that comes back is loose and fast and powerful, you know, with acceleration and everything else you want from a perfect shot. But that takes its toll on the engine. I think he's a big dude for the for the weight oh, as well. So do I. And I think that pays a toll as well. So, you know, if you could now you've got to make a 30 day weight check, seven day weight check, three day weight check. And then he's weighed in. You know, we, we know he's pulled out before literally last minute where he hasn't felt right. Maybe the weight's a factor. But for me tonight, he, he reminds me a lot of David Hay in the early stages of his career where he's super dangerous at the first you know few rounds and you can see through working with Adam Booth where you know where he's developed that sort of style as well with his own you know pedigree that he's that he's got initially in his talent but now he's got to bridge the gap where for me the jab needs to be more than just a power shot you know you need to you know flick it and have a breather at the back of it you know there's a lot more to his game that you know we want to see develop but it's a, it was sad. I mean, the, the towel came in real quick from 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 Adam tonight, and he knew no George. He knew. Yeah, I think he he, he knew he didn't want to leave his guy in yeah. there any longer. Um, you know, save him to fight for another day. But um, a tremendous win for for um, Avianian. They were so incredibly confident all the week. Carl Grease, we heard from on the podcast, they wouldn't hear of defeat for his man. And he pretty much said that the fight would go as it's gone, that his man would eventually wear Josh Kelly down. Now, he's had an oxygen mask applied to his face. He's sat up on the stool in the corner, being looked over by the paramedics here at ringside. And we had them involved again last week, of course. What I would say is that that capitulation was very quick. Yes.